also it's a 79th anniversary to D-Day, the Normandy landings. Um, there are very few uh, veterans, United States veterans and, and English veterans still alive uh, from the Normandy invasions when the United States uh, stormed the beaches of Normandy on D-Day. I actually personally have a relative uh, that uh, that uh, survived, uh, I believe. There, I have a relative that fought in D-Day. Um, I actually, to be honest, don't know if they survived. I'm pretty sure they survived the D-Day landings. Uh, but it was my brother, my grandfather, my maternal grandfather, Joe Takehash's um, cousin or, or uh, sibling, possibly, uh, was in the D-Day landings. And a lot of Americans have uh, relatives that uh, were in D-Day. However, um, it was 79 years ago. So even if somebody was uh, 20 years old storming the beaches of, of D-Day, and there were a lot of 20-year-olds that day on June 6, 79 years ago, that person would be 99 years old today. So I was looking online about an article about a man in Springfield, Arizona, I mean, Spring, Springfield, Missouri, who was 100 years old and was a veteran of D-Day. Uh, Wikipedia estimates that there are about two to 3,000 um, veterans still alive uh, that were there on June 6, 79 years ago. And the youngest of the veterans are in their late 90s. So within the next five or 10 years, uh, we won't have any veterans left um, from the D-Day Normandy invasion. So it's important to remember that and uh, remember uh, the time they served. Um, there's numerous movies and video games that, uh, you know, portray the event and uh, it will be etched in uh, our uh, memories forever. So.